Bonjour! Welcome, guess what? My name is Abomination. And welcome back to Draft League stuff. It's been a long time. Well, not that long, but long enough for me. Last season I was in, I um, was expected to record everything. Or I did record everything, but I was expected to publish everything on YouTube. And I failed. And I felt bad for that. And I do feel bad for that, still. So guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take that unfinished season, I posted like three battles, but I'm gonna get rid of them because they're shameful and pathetic and... not that well edited in the first place because my editing software likes to screw up recently, so that's why I'm doing a voiceover. It's a little easier to edit when I do a voiceover instead of my face. So I'll probably be doing that. Anyway, I'm here to talk about my draft. I was the fifth pick overall, um, out of twelve, so uh, pretty much in the middle, so whatever. This is the first time I've ever been in the middle. In round one, this is the first time I ever got this Pokemon, and I've always looked at it every single time, but it's taken every, like every single time. It was Mew. Okay, Mew can do everything, as long as it's in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. By the way, we're playing in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Um, yeah, Mew can do any everything. Anything and everything you can possibly think of in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Pokemon Home obviously isn't out yet. And when it does come out, we are not allowed to use the moves uh, that come with it. So I have to make sure to memorize. <laughs> so hopefully I don't screw that up. If Home comes out, hopefully I don't accidentally bring a move I'm not supposed to. But anyway. Mew is really strong. Very happy with that pick. 100 base stats all around, it could be anything I want. It does not have Dragon Dance, but that's fine because it still has Swords Dance and Nasty Plot and Agility. So, yeah. Anyway, next round two, I grabbed Azumarill. I, I kind of wanted for Alligator, but then the chat was starting to talk about Fairy types, and I was like, and they were like saying, you know, there aren't that many. Because the only Fairy types are ones that became a fairy type. So I was like, okay, yeah, I do want a fairy type, so okay. I wanted for alligator initially as my water type, because I like the Johto starters. But Azumarill was too good, and I have had Azumarill in the past, and it is always just this... It's, it should get a kill every time, unless like it's really, really uh, countered by like a... Uh, Tangrowth is in my head only because I've I've taken my team and just playing OU and in Pokemon Showdown and Tangrowth is always kind of there. Um, yeah. Third round, Dragonite. One more point than Azumarill, but it's it's a Dragonite. It's got multi scale. Uh, I could take an Ice Sight move if it's at full health, provided it's like subtle, not like a a Mammal Swine Icicle Crash. If it does get that. This gen, I'm assuming in, in Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, I, I have to find out. But that Choice Bandit Icicle Crash from Mammoth Swine probably will still do a lot of damage, but irrelevant. I should be able to take that, get a Dragon Dance up. Ice Shard will finish me off, but ignore that. <clears throat> Dragonite is very scary because it can be a special attacker as well with Draco Meteor. Um, Mew can also be physical and special. I do like those Pokemon that can be both. Dragonite's attack is 130, so it is better than a special attack significantly. I think it's 100 special attack. But it's still really good, right? And it's got Thunder and uh, Blizzard and Fire Blast. Classic dragon stuff. Um, yeah. Round 4 is Drafted Magnezone. Uh, don't... Something about Magnezone bothers me. I... I like it because it's kind of looks. I don't know. I, no, you know, no, I don't, I don't know. I don't really like it that much, but it's. I wanted an electric type Pokemon and a steel type Pokemon. So I thought I'd get Magnezone. I know Magnezone is really good. It does not have body press, but who cares? Um, Flash Cannon Thunderbolt usually, usually is all it needs. It's not much that can really do that. Big ground weakness, but I do have a Dragonite so far to stop, you know, that damage. Yeah, 
And Volt Switch is in Brilliant Diamond Sun Shining Pearl, so Mag Zone's pretty good. Steel types are really good. Round five. Guess what? I wanted my mascot, and I wanted pretty much every single draft. I got Miltank. Miltank does not have Fire Punch or Ice Punch or Thunder Punch. I'm assuming. I, I know it doesn't have Fire Punch. I'm just assuming it doesn't have the other punches either. I didn't know this when it, when I drafted her, but that should be fine. Um, it still has Earthquake in it. It kept uh, play rough from Sword and Shield, so it could still hit a lot of weaknesses. If you've watched my stuff at all, then you know I could do something. She's only 9 points out of a total of 18? Yeah, I think 18 is the maximum, so she's right in the middle. Maybe it's 17. No, I think it's 18. Yeah, it's 18, but there's only like 3 guys. Latios, Latias, and Glasgow or something like that. Or that much. That I'm not too afraid of that. Anyway, and Miltank can use Stealth Rocks, pretty sure, and Heal Bell is the big one. I wanted that, but yeah, you should know about. No, you shouldn't know. I mean, you shouldn't be expected to know. Round six, I got Umbreon. Um, Umbreon is also nine points. I think Umbreon's great. Right? Like, it's it's very indestructible. It does have Curse, which boosts its defense, and its special defense is through the roof. I think it's 95 HP, like 130 base special defense. Lots of special defense. Um, Specs, Focus Blast, hurts a lot. And, uh, yeah, but that's it. Uh, fairy types, like I said, there's not very many, and I got Azumarill out of there. So, fighting types are usually... Or is, pretty much going to be the thing in my way. Both Meltank and Umbreon are tanks, so they're both weak to fighting type moves though, right? But Mew and Azumarill and Dragonite all resist uh, fighting type moves. And I do have another resist down the road, but I have a few more weaknesses as well. Umbreon is fun. Never had Umbreon before. And I'm eager to do it. It can pass Wish, it, wish which is going to be good for my next pick. And, um, pretty much everything there. It's just good for Dragonite, too, because Dragonite can get a Wish and maybe get a multi-scale. Like, uh, it's possible that I use Wish, switch to Dragonite full health, take whatever hit, and then go back to full health with the multi-scale, right? Um, if Stealth Rocks are on the field, then that can't work. So I needed a Defogger or a Rapid Spinner. Now, I think Mew can do it. Mew can Defog, but... And maybe Dragonite, but that's not really what I wanted to do. My next pick is not a defogger though, but I wanted it. It's Typhlosion. Its 3D model leaves a lot to be desired, but who cares? I do care. <laughs> but, um. Yeah. Typhlosion, you, it's just eruption, right? Um. Pretty much. It learns Focus Blast and Extra Sensory, and, you know, a lot of Fire Type moves. Doesn't learn that much. It does have Earthquake, I'm pretty sure, too, but it's physical. Eruption does a lot of damage. I do not have Sun on my team, but it doesn't really matter. Choice Specs, Eruption just hurts so much, and Scarf, Typhlosion, is very scary. 90 base speed, or not 90, 100 base speed is is pretty good in this generation, because, you know, over the, over the years, speed has gotten higher and higher, and Typhlosion has not really been able to uh, speed that much, but in this generation, it should be pretty good. Gonna need a lot of a Scarf to outspeed me. Him. So, Eruption. I'm excited to push it. I have, first time I've had the opportunity to have Typhlosion. I've only ever played in Sword and Shield so far in Draft League, so Typhlosion obviously does not exist. Next is Round 8. I grabbed Hitmon Top. There's my Rapid Spinner right there. I wanted a Rapid Spinner. I wanted Hariyama initially as my fighting type Pokemon. Um, because of Will-O-Wisp. Because the Will-O-Wisp that will be heading towards Azumarill and Dragonite. Right? I wanted Hariyama with Guts. But Rapid Spinner is more important than the situational thing of a Will-O-Wisp coming my way. Obviously, you can't hit Ghost type Pokemon and I don't have Knock Off. I only have Sucker Punch to hit Ghosts. I think there might be another one. So ghost types can switch into my rapid spin, but they'll if they want to switch, I have bulk up. Um, right? 
to be able to handle it. There is no assault vest, so that's a, that's a nice item for him on top, but there is no assault vest. Intimidate and Technician are the item are the abilities here. Those are both good. Teflosion is Flash Fire, by the way. So a Flash Fire boosted full health eruption. Hurts. Anyway, hit him on top. Rapid Spinner. Don't really like it that much in his 3D model. Again, I don't like his 3D model. This should be on his head, in my opinion. Its sprite looks better, but who cares? I do care. Again. But it's him on top. Rapid Spin. In round 9, for 10 points, I grab Venusaur. I don't really like Venusaur that much. I'm sorry. I think it looks a little bit weird, but it's good. Um, unfortunately for it, I have to admit it is way better than Meganium. Meganium is 5 points, Venusaur is 10, so it's, it's twice as good as Meganium, which I kind of agree with. Um, it gets Sleep Powder, right? And... That alone is a really good asset. It has Chlorophyll. Meganium has Solar Shield, I'm pretty sure. Or not Solar Shield, that's Masters. Leaf Guard. Leaf Guard prevents it from getting statuses in Sun. Venusaur doubles its speed in Sun, so... I mean... Yeah, Chlorophyll is better. Venusaur is better, unfortunately. I like Meganium better, but Venusaur is better! Sleep Powder, uh, Sludge Bomb with Poison type. Um... Very tanky on the special side, even the physical side. Maybe can't really take super effective hits that well. I mean, it can. Not that nicely, though. Grass types are weak to a lot of things, but... So Venusaur should be able to live one, but... Um, there is no weakness policy or anything, so... It can't be that great. It can be great. I, I do expect things for Venusaur. Again, I, I don't have Sun. Sun would be nice with Typhlosion and Venusaur, but I don't actually have it. I didn't actually think of it. But uh, that should be fine. I, I wasn't really planning for Sun anyway. Plus, I have a Zoom Rail, so I'm not sure I want Sun. For round 10, I wanted. At, at this point, I was looking at my weaknesses. I was weak to both ground and. something else. Forget what it was. I picked Rotom Frost, which is immune to ground. Another immunity, which I wanted. Um, and it was resisted something else. Maybe it was. I wanted to fix my... There's another weakness I had, but in doing so, I gave myself a rock weakness overall on my team, but this should be... I think that's fine, because him on top is a really good answer, and so is uh, Magnezone for rock types. Right? And rock types generally can't boost their attack stats that well. Now, I, like if I'm thinking about it, they don't really have Swords Dance often, I don't think. So... Umbreon and Miltank should be able to handle them. I'm questioning that, though, as we speak. Then I have two points left over. Rotom Frost is good, by the way. I do like Rotom Frost. Blizzard is its only ice type move, unfortunately, but it's still Bolt Izzard. Not Bolt Beam. Bolt Izzard. <laughs> um, but that's good. And then for two points, I just drafted uh, Lopunny. It's another normal type Pokemon. I want a Mega Lopunny on my team one day. That will happen eventually, I'm sure. But for right now, the regular one is two points. And it does learn Thunder Wave, but so does Miltank. Uh, basically, it's more especially defensive and faster, slightly faster than Miltank. It's actually the fastest thing on my team. Which is both. It's a bad thing, kind of. It's just more especially defensive than Miltank is. Um, this physical defense is pretty bad. Slightly faster. And that's it. Overall, I am very happy with this team. I think Mew and Azumarill and Dragonite. Actually, I like everything on my team I like. Yeah, pretty much everything on my team has potential to do a lot of damage to an enemy team. Right? I actually don't know if Rotom gets Nasty Plot. I think it does. Yeah, because Rotom Wash gets Nasty Blood. Yeah, it gets Nasty Blood. Because I've been playing OU. Ever since I drafted, I've been playing OU with only guys from this team. I've been doing fine. I've been getting slightly better at it. Um, OU is obviously hard when I'm restricted, but... I've been doing pretty good at it. Um, anyway, yeah, that's my epic team. Epic team. And just like... Uh, the other y YCL season, but like, I shouldn't actually speak of it, because I'm going to get rid of it. 
delete it. I'm gonna be hiding Golden Rod Gym Leader Whitney in my videos. This is another fun thing, because it's fun. I like, I always liked Eyes Spy. As a kid. And that's it. That's my draft. Week 1 I'm versus some Emerald Miner. I forget what his team name is. Anyway, thank you for watching and listening. Smell you later.